time for a special Christmas message. Hey, is that man? In, In the, the night? night? I'd like some toys, I. Welcome to Geek Lake City, Utah, where everyday ski bums race the Bob's Letters of Trivia for a shot at valuable prizes. But only if they can beat the geeks. Hey, I'm Tiffany, and now please welcome the freestyle Brainiac gold medalist and the host of Beat the Geeks, Jay Keith Van Strutten. Tonight, one of these three challengers will get a chance to win our grand prize package worth over $5,000. Yeah, that's the good news. Now, the bad news. To try and stop them, we have collected the finest steel trap pop trivia minds in existence and assembled them here in our arena. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the geeks. Mark Edward Hoyt, the movie geek. I was the man who was gushing to you about Quentin Tarantino before he was cool. Andy Sachs, the music geek. I've got albums by Pearls Before Swine, Nurse With Wound, and Ultimate Spinach. And I've got some obscure stuff, too. Paul Goebel, the TV geek. If you can name every character on what's happening, we might have a chance. Otherwise... And our special guest geek, Antonio Lopez, the Simpsons geek. I own a limited edition glow-in-the-dark Homer Simpson action figure worth over $200. There they are, the abominable snowmen of trivia that want to crush your chance for the grand prize. So, OP, Emily, Dave, that's what you're up against, and here's how it's going to work. Only two of you will earn the right to challenge the geeks in the next round, and only one of you will make it all the way to the final round where you'll face the geek of your choice for a chance at the grand prize package. But right now, one of you's got to go. So we're going to start things off with four or five point toss up questions, hands over buzzers, in the subject of movies. What bedtime for Bonzo star went on to become President of the United States? Dave. Ronald Reagan. That's who it was. Five points for you. Now, Movie Geek, uh, Reagan was actually president of the Screen Actors Guild before he was the president of the U.S. Yeah, uh, Reagan was never the greatest actor, but he was always kind of a likable presence on screen. You know, he didn't object when he sang. He was kind of like the Tim Allen of his day, because they're both into getting more power. Excellent analogy. Thank you, Movie Geek. All right, challengers, here's your next toss-up question. In the subject of music, what Indiana-born rocker dropped the cougar from his name? Dave. John Cougar Mellencamp. That is correct. In the subject of Simpsons, who is the personal assistant to Mr. Burns? Emily. Smithers. Smithers is correct. <laughs> All right, challengers, here's your last five-point question. In the subject of TV, now let me preface this by saying the answer is not Tonto. In the TV series The Lone Ranger, what was the name of the fiery steed the Lone Ranger mounted? Emily. Silver? That is correct. Silver for five points. All right, that's the end of the five-point questions. Let's look at the score. We've got Dave and Emily tied with 10. OP, you have to get on the board. Thank you, Tiffany. We're going on now to four 10-point toss-up questions. I'll remind you, only the two of you who are in the lead after these questions will move on to Challenge the Geeks in the next round. In the subject of Simpsons, what is Ned Flanders' favorite book? Emily. The Holy Bible. That is correct. <laughs> All right, challengers. In the subject of movies, in Ghostbusters, the Ectomobile was a converted what? OP. Hearst. Incorrect. Emily. Ambulance? Ambulance is right. Ten points. In the subject of music, what diva is married to a former member of New Edition? Emily. Whitney Houston. That is correct. Ten points for you. Music Geek, they've recorded a couple songs together, haven't they? I think that's true, yeah. You know, Whitney actually just scored a $90 million record deal. So uh, I guess we, guess we kind of know who's bringing home the bread in that family. Yes. <laughs> All right, Music Geek, thank you. All right, challengers, here's your last toss-up question. In the subject of TV, Jack, Karen, Will, and Grace are all characters on NBC's Will and Grace. Name the two that are gay. Dave. Jack and Will. That is correct. <laughs> Now, was that the first uh, network series to have openly gay main characters? Not even close. There's been tons of gay characters, but it is one of the first to have a gay, gay character actually in the title. Uh -huh. I'll say I, I liked Will and Grace uh, on the first season of Will and Grace, and then it eventually it turned into the Karen and Jack show, which would be great if they could get rid of Will and Grace. Then I'd watch it. <laughs> that would be a good show. All right.
right, that is the end of the toss-up rounds. Let's look at the score. We've got Dave with 20, Emily with 40. OP, you didn't score! Now I know that you know that I know that you know that you lost, and now what I know is you have to exit the Geek Arena now and get your parting gifts. Bye-bye, OP. See you later. All right, Emily and Dave, you two have proven yourselves worthy to challenge the geeks in the next round. You'll have the next couple of minutes to rest, and you're going to need it, because when we come back, it'll be a four-ring geek circus against two little freak shows in the challenge round. Don't miss it here on Beat the Geeks. Log on to ComedyCentral.com for an up-close and geeky look at Comedy Central's new pop trivia game show, Beat the Geeks. Play daily geek trivia challenges and meet the geeks with exclusive video interviews of your favorite geek gods. Fear the geeks at ComedyCentral.com. This program is brought to you by JCPenney. For great holiday gifts, the place to unwrap the magic is JCPenney. It's all inside. Where are we going? To see the lights. this be more perfect? You tell me. This magic moment. Unwrap the magic at JCPenney with stunning quarter carat diamond pendants, earrings, and rings. Just $99.99 each. From the only place with gifts sure to make her light up. It's all inside. JCPenney. How real are your digital images? Olympus Comedia Cameras, the most realistic digital images yet. Nothing's impossible, Olympus. The New York Times calls Vanilla Sky a highly entertaining erotic thriller. Ebert and Roper give it two thumbs up. Rolling Stone says it's one of the year's 10 best. They want to steal my life! Vanilla Sky, rated R, now playing. Uh, ah! yeah! Tommy Lasorda is mad. Mad? These tomatoes are rotten! He kept his tomatoes in the store's produce bag. They're out of here! Tommy, you should have put them in a Glad Fresh Protect bag. Glad Fresh Protect bags keep tomatoes fresher longer. No more rotten tomatoes? Nope. Glad's got freshness in the bag. Nice pit. Mm. Don't get mad. Get Glad. Glad Fresh Protect bags. To relax, need a beauty boost? Tired of your own hair? Visit Naomi's Beauty Center, rated the best beauty store by Glamour, Allure, and Los Angeles magazines. Relax in Naomi's Day Spa. Boost your beauty in Naomi's Full Service Salon. Try hair extensions at Naomi's Wig Salon. And shop where studio hairstylists and makeup artists shop. Naomi's Beauty Center, 12640 Riverside Drive at Coldwater Canyon. 818-655-9933. to survive the first round, so we might as well get to know you. Emily, you're an assistant, and what's the geekiest thing about you? Um, well, Jay Keith, I uh, collect pandas, and I actually still sleep with my pet uh, panda, Sam Sammy, my stuff. Now, now, when you say you sleep with him, like, you, that's just he's, sleeping. Yeah, he's a stuffed animal. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure you know where to draw that line. No, there's... All right, Emily, glad to have you here. Uh, Dave, you're an office assistant. What's yes. the geekiest thing about you? I go see silent movies every weekend alone. Oh. <laughs> We applaud and sympathize there. All right, glad to have you both here. Uh, now, the two of you have made it this far, so really congratulations. You are both still eligible for that grand prize package worth over $5,000. However, now the game starts getting tougher because now you will be playing against the geeks themselves. That is true. In this first challenge round, you'll each have one chance to challenge a geek and try to take his medal. All the medals in this round are worth 20 points, but if you can beat our special guest geek, we'll give you an extra 10 points. Yeah! Emily, you are in the lead, so you go first. Please challenge a geek. I challenge the TV geek. TV geek, you've been challenged. Emily, this is going to be like a uh, SNL sketch. Very long, very painful. 
Now, since you probably don't know as much as our expert here, we've leveled the playing field. Relatively easy questions for you, impossibly difficult ones for the geek. Now, geek, for every easy question your challenger gets right, you will have to answer a more difficult geek-level question in order to defend your medal. If you should fail, you will surrender your medal, and the challenger will get 20 points. Thank you, Tiffany. All right, Emily, here's your first TV question. Here's a TV listing. Ed wants the Stucky Bowl to be declared an historic landmark. Tell me, from what NBC series is this? Ed. Ed is correct. <laughs> All right, TV geek, your medal is in danger. You must answer this more difficult question in order to keep that medal. Here is another TV listing. After being hit by a stray bullet, Charlie milks his wound for attention from Caitlin. What ABC series does this come from? That is uh, the more recent unfunny version of Spin City. <laughs> That is correct. All right, Emily, move on to another pair of questions. This one is for you. On Three's Company, name one of the two roommates Jack and Janet had after Chrissy moved out. Terry. That is correct. <laughs> Cindy was the other one. All right, TV Geek, again, your medal is in danger. Name the roommate that Janet and Chrissy lived with before Jack moved in, and what actress portrayed her? When Chrissy moved out, she was replaced by her cousin, Cindy Snow, and she was played by the fabulous Jenny Lee Harrison. Well, TV Geek, that information may be correct, but it is not the answer to the question we were asking. We wanted to know the roommate that was there before Jack moved in. That, of course, was Eleanor, played by Marianne Black. You must surrender your medal in shame. Oh, TV Geek, and in front of Tiffany, too. All right, Emily, that's a medal for you and 20 points. That's what watching TV will do to you. All right, excellent point for the kids out there. All right, uh, that brings the score to Emily with 60, Dave with 20. Dave, you're up next. Please challenge a geek. I challenge the Simpsons geek. Simpsons geek, you've been challenged. You must be higher than Marge's hairdo. <laughs> All right, let's see if Dave is on something. Dave, here's your first Simpsons question. What animated cat and mouse have their own popular ultra-violent TV show? Itchy and Scratchy. That is correct. <laughs> they fight and fight and fight. All right, Simpsons Geek, your medal is in danger. You must answer this more difficult question. What animated dog character that was voiced by Homer had a short-lived role on the Itchy and Scratchy show? <laughs> That's interesting, because Homer wasn't the first choice. It was Troy McClure and Otto, the school bus driver. But as we all know, that dog is Poochie. Poochie is who it was. <laughs> all right, Dave, here's your next Simpsons question. Who is this kid on the right? And what's the name of his best friend on the left? It's Bart Simpson. His friend is Milhouse. That is correct. <laughs> Simpsons Geek, once again, your medal is in danger. Here's your question. What are the full names of both of Milhouse's parents? It's interesting because in one episode, they actually got divorced. But I believe his father's name is Kirk Van Houten, and his mother is Luann Van Houten. That is correct! Well done, Simpsons Geek. All right, Dave, the Simpsons Geek has successfully defended his medal twice. That means in order to decide this challenge, we're going to go to the 15-second Geek Off. When I say go, you're going to have 15 seconds to give me as many well-known valid responses as you can in the following category. Simpsons merchandising items on which Bart has appeared. Go. Clocks. Radios, phones, uh, uh, dolls, uh, cells, uh, videos, uh, uh, merchandising, backpacks, uh, wallets. That's time. You got eight. Eight valid responses, which means that Simpsons Geek, you must get at least nine valid responses in your Geek Off in order to successfully defend your medal. Your category is titles of Simpsons episodes. Go. When you dish upon a star, Homer at the bat, Homer goes to college, Homer's odyssey, itchy and scratchy and poochy, itchy and scratchy and Marge. The Wizard of Evergreen Terrace. That's very impressive, but you did not get enough valid responses in time. Simpsons Geek, you must surrender your medal. the kiss, the medal, the 20 points, and the 10 bonus points. And after the first challenge round, Emily, you're ahead with 60. Dave, not far behind with 50.
And when we come back, medals become twice as valuable and the herd of challengers is thinned by one. Don't miss that, my friends, right after this. The holidays are a time for peace on Earth and goodwill towards man. <laughs> who needs it? I'm a little hyped up tonight. See the man who's always on Santa's naughty list. <laughs> Dennis Leary, No Cure for Cancer, tonight at 10, only on Comedy Central. The event that defined a nation is now the perfect holiday gift. Pearl Harbor. Buy it now on DVD and video. Dig deeper into the world of horror at Lyco Shopping. Go to Lyco Shopping to buy Stephen King and Peter Straub's latest thriller, Black House. Whatever you're into, dig into it deeper on Lycos. How does lightning smell? Smell this. Lightning, an intense new scent from Speed Stick. Nice. Inspired by the power of nature. Protection that smells good. New America Online version 7.0 is here. There's never been a better time to join. Call now for our best offer ever. 7.0 is filled with a whole bunch of new stuff. Bing! You got your instant messages. It's fun getting email. You've got mail. Call now, sign up over the phone, and be online in minutes. Customer service is great. 7.0 makes it even easier. Call 1-877-265-0200 now to join AOL and get a risk-free special offer for new members. What are you waiting for? America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. The number one action movie in America is Behind Enemy Lines. Critics call it a run-and-gun popcorn flick, and the New York Times raves. It's an adrenaline-fueled thriller. Behind Enemy Lines, rated PG-13, now playing. Welcome back to Beat the Geeks. It's time now for two more challenges. In this round, medals are worth 40 points each. Now, only the one of you with the most points, I will remind you, will get the shot at the grand prize package worth $5,000. All right, Dave, you need the most help, so this time you go first. Please challenge one of our remaining geeks. I challenge the movie geek. Movie geek, you've been challenged. You know, in a few minutes, this show's gonna be like that old Cheech and Chong routine. Dave's not here. <laughs> All right, Dave, here's your first movie question. In the 1988 John Sayles baseball film, Eight Men Out, what star of high fidelity played third baseman Buck Weaver? John Cusack. That is correct. <laughs> Movie Geek, your medal is in danger. From Eight Men Out, name three of the actors who played the other seven men out. D.B. Sweeney, Charlie Sheen, uh, I believe Dermot Mulroney. Incorrect. Oh. Movie Geek, you must surrender your medal in shame. And on the first question of the challenge, David straight there, Don Harvey, Michael Rooker, James Reed, Another medal for you. You beat that geek. You're now in the lead, 90 to 60. Yeah. Right. Emily, it's now your turn to challenge. Let's get this formality over with and challenge the remaining geek. I challenge the music geek. Music geek, you've been challenged. Yeah. Emily, you are about to be covered in more dust than a vanilla ice CD moldering in a cutout bin. Oh. All right, Emily, let's see what you can do. We've had all three geeks beaten so far. The Spanish duo Los Del Rio sang what 1996 smash dance hit? Macarena? That is correct. <laughs> Music Geek, your medal is in danger. Who had a number one hit in 1975 with The Hustle? Well, The Hustle, of course, one of the great 70s disco dance crazes. Um, and that's actually kind of a great song, um, like a lot of disco pop from that era. Uh, and the guy who recorded it, his name is Van McCoy. That is correct. Yeah. Van McCoy and the Soul City Orchestra. <laughs> Emily, we go to another music question. Look at this picture of the band Aerosmith taken in 2001. Name the singer pictured in the center of this photo. Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler is that man. Yeah. All right, music geek, once again, your medal is in danger. Name the other four members of Aerosmith seen in this picture. Let's see. Well, aside from Joe Perry, who's the guitarist, and Steven Tyler, the vocalist, it's the other three guys that are troublesome. I'm trying to remember their last names. One's named Kramer, one's named Hamilton, and the other one is named... Oof, I think it's Whitford. That is correct. 
Joe Perry, Joey Kramer, Tom Hamilton, and Brad Whitford. Well done, Music Geek. All right, Emily. The Geek has successfully defended his medal twice. That means we're going to go to the 15-second Geek Off once again. Your category is bands or artists from Ireland. Go. You two, um... Uh, Limp Bizkit, I have no idea. That's time. Limp Bizkit, I don't think we can accept. Let me check my count. I believe it was one. One valid response. All right, Music Geek. Your medal is in danger, but you have a pretty good chance of defending it. She yeah, got well, one. That means in your geek off, you must get at least two valid responses. I'm Are sweating. you ready? Oh, yeah. Your category is bands or artists from Scotland. Go. Let's go with uh, Lloyd Cole and the Commotions and Orange Juice. That'll do it. A successful defense of your medal. The only geek to successfully defend today. All right, that is the end of the challenge rounds. The score remains Dave with 90, Emily with 60. And now it all comes down to the Geekalizer. Yes, it's still anybody's game because the Geekalizer could be worth up to 150 points. In the Geekalizer, I'm going to start naming titles, people, phrases, and things. You will have two seconds to tell me whether each one is currently best known for movies, TV, or music. For each correct answer, we'll give you ten points. Answer incorrectly or freeze at any time, and the Geekalizer is over for you. Emily, you're behind, so you're going to go first. You need 30 points to stay in this game. That means you must get at least three of these in a row. Let's Geekalize. Mae West. Movies. West Side Story. Movie. West End Girls. Music. West End Blues. TV. No, the answer there is music. It was a jazz standard written by Louis Armstrong. But you did tie Dave. That means in your Geekalizer, you need just to get the first one in order to win this game. Are you ready? All right. All right, Dave, let's Geekalize. Tweety Bird. TV. That's it. You made it a valiant effort, but you did not get enough points to take over the lead. We must say goodbye to you. Please exit the Geek Arena now. Bye-bye. All right, that means Dave is our final challenger and is going through to the geek to geek Showdown for a chance at an amazing grand prize. Now, of course, Dave, what you get depends on which geek you beat. Which geek do you challenge for the final showdown? I'm going after the Simpsons geek. Simpsons geek, you've been challenged. are slimmer than Mr. Burns' spindly fingers. If you beat our Simpson Geek, you're going to need some geek gear of your own. So, CDW Computing Solutions Built for Business is giving you $5,000 worth of geek equipment. They've got a huge selection of high-end computers, digital cameras, and DVD players. Oh, no. Start your own Millhouse website, watch Maggie shoot Mr. Burns over and over, or even make your own Bartman music video. With CDW and a slew of geek tools, you'll finally be able to call yourself a Simpsons Geek. You lucky bastard. It's a grand prize package worth over $5,000. Stay right where you are, because when we come back, we'll see if Dave can get it up high enough to put one over on the Simpsons Geeks. Stay tuned to Speed the Geeks. Comedy Central Movies is proud to present Rushmore, the story of an ordinary boy. Did you invite that kid to your party? Max Fisher. Come on, Dad, there's going to be girls there. I'd rather die. Pull your head out of your ass. His obsession with an extraordinary teacher and his undying passion for a school. He's one of the worst students we've got. Bill Murray, Luke Wilson, Jason Schwartzman. Rushmore, next, only on Comedy Central. This holiday, the critics have chosen a must own DVD. Planet of the Apes. The coolest movie is now the hottest gift. Get me the spaceman. Give Planet of the Apes today. Uh, now the one Billy made in third grade. Aunt Sarah's angel. Still got the wings. Now I need the gingerbread house. This time of year, what can you give the woman who gives all year? This would be a great way to start. A diamond bracelet from K Jewelers starting from only $99.95. And you can be assured of two things. First, that K Diamonds are hand-selected for exceptional beauty. And second, that she'll absolutely love it. Nice gingerbread house. Every kiss begins with K. 
Introducing the best America Online ever. New version 7.0. It's better, faster, and easier. It's like a click and you're connected. 7.0 is fast. It's got all the new features. It's just so easy. All new AOL version 7.0. Welcome. It's everything you love about America Online. You've got mail. Now with cool new features and places to go. I'm falling in love with the new features. 7.0 is the best. Don't be a chicken, it's easy. America Online, new version 7.0. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Call 1-800-4-ONLINE. Where are we going? To see the lights. Could this be more perfect? You tell me. This magic moment. Unwrap the magic at JCPenney with stunning quarter carat diamond pendants, earrings, and rings, just $99.99 each. From the only place with gifts sure to make her light up. It's all inside. JCPenney. This Christmas, Method Man and Red Man are going to Harvard. Right. Ho. I am watching you. Ho. What's your name? Ho. Wait a minute, did you just call us hoes? I meant that in the good way. How high? Rated R at Theaters Friday. Order a Knight's Tale on Adelphia In Demand and you'll receive a discount voucher to Medieval Times Dinner and Tournament. Order two additional Adelphia pay-per-view movies, including A Knight's Tale, and you are automatically entered into a drawing to win A Knight's Tale Fun Pack, which will include dinner for four to Medieval Times in Buena Park, California, plus great premiums from the movie. Brought to you by Adelphia In Demand and Medieval Times Dinner and Tournament. Typical car insurance agent is on the job during regular business hours. On the other hand, GEICO insurance professionals are on the job 24 hours a day. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, uh, I didn't want mail. You don't have to sacrifice service to save money. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to Beat the Geeks. As you all know, this is the Geek to Geek Showdown. The rules are simple. For each category, you can choose a one, two, or three-point question. The first person to seven points wins. And the more the points, the harder the question. For each category, the geek cannot choose an easier question than the challenger. The challenger goes first. That's you, Dave. Here we go. The category is Animals in Springfield. Would you like a one, two, or three-point question? Uh, two, please. For two points. What kind of wild canine was Homer's spiritual guide during the hallucinations he had after eating a very spicy Guatemalan pepper? Uh, was that a wolf? It was not a wolf. It was a coyote. Oh, no points there. All right, Simpsons Geek, would you like a two or three point question in the same category? I will take a three. For three points, name the three-eyed fish Bart and Lisa caught in the stream outside the power plant. That fish's name is Blinky. That is correct for three points in the lead. Dave, the category is Mad About Marge. Would you like a one, two, or three-point question? Uh, two, please. For two points. What is Marge Simpson's maiden name? Uh, it is Bouvier. That is correct for two points. Simpson's Geek, a two or three-point question? Three. For three points. What is the profession of Jacques, the character with whom Marge nearly had an affair in the episode entitled Life on the Fast Lane? <laughs> one of my favorite sports, actually. In fact, in this sport, a strike is good, so he is a bowling instructor. That is correct for another three points. Dave is up 6-2. You need seven points to win this showdown. The category is Springfield Nuclear Power. Would you like a one, two, or three-point question? Give me the two again. All right, for two points. What troubled former Dodger and Yankee player played softball for the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant? Is that... Uh... Uh, Daryl Strawberry? That is correct for two points. All right, Simpson Geek, you got a chance to win this showdown. Would you like a two or three point question? I will go for a three. All right, you're showing off with a three point question. For the victory, in what sector does Homer Simpson work at the power plant? Oh, so many numbers, so many letters to choose from. Well, I guess I'll have to go with sector 7G. That is correct. You win the showdown. Congratulations, Geek. You know, I never tire of watching you geeks win. It's like watching animals do it on the Discovery Channel. Always interesting. All right, everybody. I'm J.K. Van Stratton. Join us next time when three blips on the radar face off against the sonic boom of pyrotechnic pop portion. Here on Beat the Geeks. We'll see you then. <laughs>
You're watching Comedy Central.